What's up, man? It's Mac Miller, and you're checking out That Life with Carissa Rossi here on Karma Loop TV. We're here with Mac Hippie, Mac Measy, better yet known as Mac Miller. Mac, how is the under of under the influence of music tour going for you so far? It's good, you know. It's, it's been a crazy, crazy turnout everywhere we've been, man. To see, you know, over twenty thousand people come and support us is is fantabulous. That's great. Now, a lot of people have been asking me, your '92 of Infinity is that ever gonna drop? Yeah, that's a mysterious mixtape. It's me and Jazzy Jeff, man. We, we have a plan, but it is going to drop. It is going to drop. Nice, nice. Now, your Pink Slime mixtape or new project that's about to drop, what can you tell us about it? Pink Slime, man. That's like the future. No, nah, it's like Pharrell, man. Great guy to work with. He's crazy. Just like me, I'm crazy a little bit. And, and that's, you know, we get along, man. We we uh very passionate about music. You know, it's like you, you either... You know, listen to music or you see music, and we, we definitely see it. So your homie Dylan, he's one of your homies from high school. He's coming up. Can you tell us about him? Yeah, I'm actually really glad that you asked about him. He's a, I've known that kid who is actually a, a man now. He's older than I am. I've known that, that grown man since he was uh, six years old. We were both really young, and we actually used to be in a band together when we were younger. We used to jam in his basement. I was on guitar, and he was on drums, and then I went and, uh, you know, followed this. And, I, and out of nowhere, he like started playing guitar and singing incredibly. And he sent me a song and I was like, yo, man, I don't care about anything besides making sure that the world hears you, man. So, you know, like I'm just, that's all I'm doing. You know, it's, it's not like, it's just me trying to make sure that the world hears this, this man's music, man. It's, it's incredible. Could you ever see yourself, you know, doing a song with him? Yeah, man, I actually, for my album, this is the first thing I've ever let loose about my album, just so you know. Karma Loop TV exclusive, Reclaim Your TV. Uh, fucking, I did a song with him, Dylan, on my for my album over a Diplo beat, which is crazy. We got, I got yeah, Diplo, man. Shout out Diplo. Whoop, whoop, now that's just Diplo? Yeah, whoop, whoop, <laughs> for sure. Diplo is that dude, man. And, and, and yeah, we, we've worked together. And yeah, I'm already saying too much. All right, I will cut you off then. And to kind of tie things up, you know, I've been kind of creeping you on Twitter per usual. And I've seen that, um, you know, Odd Future, they've been hanging out at this new sick crib you got in LA. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, man, to- it's true. She's right. That did happen. You're good. Um, no, I'm gonna jump in the pool. Is there a pool? Yes, there is. We did get an ill crib out in LA um, just to hang at. And uh, we've been having some people come through. Just, you know, we got the studio in there and it's dope, you know. I'm just trying to have all my homies come through and see the crib. Because I'm very proud of it. It's like my, it's like we almost cried when we, if not, we did probably cry. I'm not gonna try and act, we probably did cry when we pulled up to that bitch for the first time. We came off tour and we had a, we were in a, the driver, you know, uh, took us from the airport and, and pulled up pulled up to the fucking crib and it was kind of just like Yo, that's really mine. like yeah exactly and, and you know because I up until then I was living out of my room at my mom's house that I grew up in so like you come back home and you're not shit you know what I'm saying like you come back home and I gotta fucking clean my room and and you know be the same exact place it's nothing crazy but like when I went and I saw that crib that was mine I was like yo I'm doing something right for sure, man. So yeah, we be out there, but I still be in Pittsburgh too. Don't, you know, motherfuckers know in Pittsburgh they see me at the Shell Station. Sure. Shell Station, what up? Okay. Whose fucking phone was that? Oh, is it Tree Jays? Oh, never mind, it's cool. Tree Day, keep the ringer up loud, it's fine. <laughs>